In 1987, the world was given two magical things. Me and the original Broadway production of Into the Woods, my all-time favorite musical. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see the original Broadway production of Into the Woods because I was an infant. In 2002, it was revived. I also didn't get to see that because I was 14 and my parents said, we're not taking you to New York City to see one show. In 2022, it was revived on Broadway once again. I also didn't make it to New York to see that. But today, that production is starting their tour in Buffalo and I'm going to be there. Welcome to Teacup for One. My name is Matt and I have two degrees. And as I said, friends, today it is time for another Teacup road trip. We're crossing the border into Buffalo to see the Broadway tour of the brand new production of Into the Woods, starring pretty well the entire cast that they had out there in New York City. I am so excited. Let's go. Okay, we are now en route to Buffalo. Since it's gonna be a longer journey, I decided to hire an Uber driver, and as luck would have, look, it's Alex. Hi, guys. From the Teacup for One Movie Club. Hello, Alex. I do Uber now. And how's that going for you? I'm very busy. Uh, it, yeah, I get hired a lot, because I drive Uber. Yeah, what made you decide to become an Uber driver? Well, one day, um, you were like, hey, Alex, let's go do a thing outside in the real world. And I was like, okay. And then you just kind of like assume that I'd be the one driving. And then I was like, well, if I'm the one driving, I might as well do Uber now. So that's how that happened. It's funny because it's true. We're in line for the brand new America ride. Olay. I'm not going to perform for you no, like, a, like I, a show. No, part. not for me, for the people in the video. Alex and I are now going to do our respective impersonations of Ben Wright as Jack in the original Broadway production of Into the Woods, and then you, the people, can tell us who did a better impression? A warm environment might be just what Milky White needs to produce his milk. A warm environment might be just what Milky White needs to produce his milk. A warm environment might be just what Milky White needs to produce his milk. Let us know who won. All right, so the hard part is done. We've made it over the border. The border crossing guy, he was asking us, oh, so what's into the woods? And then I started to over explain. Then border crossing guy asked if Sondheim had written any movies and then I said technically no but Sweeney Todd Johnny Depp was a Sondheim well, and he also composed for West Side Story that's true he did but he didn't write actually no and he also I lied to the border cross no because Sondheim did write a movie he wrote The Last of Sheila in the 1970s with Anthony Perkins uh, best known as what's his face the the stabby stabby guy at the Bates Motel Norman Bates Norman Bates yeah so we we just lied to the border crossing man. But we didn't lie. We didn't because we didn't say like I don't think we communicated that he exclusively only did one film. I think like the Sweeney Todd. I think we just answered with Sweeney Todd. Right. You answered with Sweeney Todd. Right. And and that's all you told him. But he didn't also right. he also didn't ask for an exhaustive list. Of and just I hope they don't kick us out of the country for this. We have parked and we evaded. The thirty dollar parking. Yeah. It's like we're it's like we're living the Monopoly dream. Exactly. Alex, look, it's a theater. <laughs> Alex, there's merchandise. There's merchandise. There's merchandise. So I'm definitely gonna get a magnet. What are you gonna get? I don't know. I may get a shirt. Um, I'm, if they have the DVD, which they probably don't, they don't. If they have, if they have the DVD, you can get it cheaper places that aren't here. Yeah, but I, it's convenience for me. Like I, okay. I like I have a same same way that I'll buy a soundtrack at yeah. the theater if I like the musical after seeing it. Yes, I'll buy the DVD, and regardless of the price. Alex has more money than me. As suspected, I've run into the first of many surprise friends. This is my dear friend, Joseph, who I've done many a show with. He was the cat in the hat and I was Horton. Joseph, brilliant say hello. Horton. Brilliant oh, Horton. Brilliant Hi. cat, brilliant cat. Joseph, favorite Into the Woods character? Ooh, Baker's yeah. wife. 
good choice. And how thrilled am I to be seeing Stephanie J. Block? Okay, bitches, let's do this. I'm excited for Milky White. I'm okay. very excited for Milky White. Okay. I remember everybody in New York was raving about how awesome the puppet was. Yes. And I, I, I saw it on Broadway, and I was like, how, how good can this puppet be? Right. And it's as good as people say it is. <gasps> See, I'm I, divisive opinion. I don't like human-operated Milky Whites. I just want a statue, so <laughs> I hope this wins me over. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Check we'll see. in. Wonderful. Thank you, Joseph. You're most welcome. So this is the part where the show actually happened, and obviously I wasn't going to record the show because that's illegal, but I'm not above pirating promo footage from the internet to show you what the production looked like while I give you my review. I have seen so many professional productions of Into the Woods in my time, none of them have been good, but this production... It managed to recapture the magic of the original Broadway production while still feeling like a completely original take on the material in nearly every respect. The staging was minimalist and there was this beautiful meta quality that left a ton to the imagination and it put the focus on the material and the performances. So I already mentioned that I don't love human operated Milky Whites and my opinion hasn't changed, but this Milky White puppet absolutely lived up to the hype. She was undeniably charming and I was just so happy that she didn't pull focus. After a few minutes on stage, she just became like another cast member and not a gimmick. There wasn't a weak link in this cast, but one of the absolute standouts for me was Katie Garrity as Little Red. She nailed the character's humor and heart and in addition to being an incredible singer, her acting was superb. She gave me new insights into the character that I hadn't known before, and it was thrilling to watch. Overall, Act 1 was a total treat. The pacing was top-notch, and I was smiling ear to ear, which was great because we all know how Act 2 is a total sob fest. So, with that said, enjoy this footage that we took at intermission. We're currently at intermission. Alex, we're going to do a full debrief after, but opening thoughts. Um, so, uh, the, this quote-unquote minimalist production is yeah. a lot less minimalist than I expected. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I'm not an expert on these kinds of definitions, but... No, I'll, I'll expert you later. Yeah, but my definition of minimalism is it's not this. Okay. Um, otherwise, I'm enjoying it. I, there's a lot of, there are a lot of interesting and cool and fun and surprising things in this show in terms of uh, unorthodox uh, interpretations of characters and, and agreed I'm loving the choices most yeah. of them yeah yeah so it's so far I'm, I'm having a blast as am I I'm excited to cry in this act are you I don't think I'm gonna cry I don't think that it's it's that good but okay you know, if, if it is I will you you might see me cry, don't judge. So Act 2 was everything I could have hoped for. Montego Glover as the witch was heartbreaking and her last midnight was so powerful. Stephanie J. Block lived up to her reputation and she delivered a moment in the woods which, once again, gave me a new perspective on the material and the character and she just had this amazing moment of discovery at the end of the song on uh, Makes the Aura Mean More Than It Did Before. And I don't know how to describe it but like it felt like her soul left her body and I cannot describe it any better but just trust me it was pure magic and now I need to talk about the performance that made the show for me Sebastian Arcellus as the baker this role is near and dear to my heart and Sebastian is the first performer I've seen in this role since Chip Zion that just embodied the character with the humor the heart and the vulnerability that's needed for the show to work and the show did work and it was pure magic all right, the show has wrapped up. I've run into two more amazing friends. This is Arthur and Esther. Hi, Esther is an Instagram star, at Esther Valens. Is that right? At Esther Valens. Yes, but I'm not a star. <laughs> She's a star in my eyes. <laughs> Esther, what did you think? Quick review. It was amazing. Um, Stephanie J. Block is one of my favorite performers. You haven't seen the last of me. And it was just such a beautiful show, and everything was just so beautifully done. And oh, I'm in heaven. This, this was great. I echo that. Arthur, closing thoughts? I, it was very good. I enjoyed it immensely. And I enjoy you too immensely. Thank you, friends. We're now outside. We've made it to the stage door. Amazing! And I've run into yet another friend. Look, everyone. It's Brandon Stafford. Hey. They're excited for him too. Hi, Brandon. Hey, how's it going? Good. So, Brandon, quick review of the show in 10 words or less. I laughed, I cried, I made it through the woods. Brandon and I, fun fact, have both played the same role in the show. Bonjour! Bonjour! No, that's a different show. Oh. Yes. I, I, I challenge you in the comments to guess which role we have shared. Do it. 
guess. Okay, that's it. Bye. So the show's over, and now we're going to the Anchor Bar because Google told me that it's famous and that the food is good. Apparently the first like buffalo wings or whatever were yeah. created here. Yeah, and I believe the things I read on the internet, so that's why we're here. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. We have just secured a table. Fun fact, we had to sit at the bar for like 20 minutes while we were waiting for the table to open up and the entire cast of Into the Woods is here, sitting at the bar. Did I talk to them and disturb them? Absolutely not, but I absolutely wanted to. And now we're here. Alex, looking at the cocktail menu, what are you, what's uh, tickling your fancy? Well, so there's the Anchor Bar Bloody Mary yeah. and I'm normally a Caesar kind of guy. Yes. So I'm contemplating, we're in the States, but they do, they do Caesars in the States, don't they? I think it's a Canadian thing. Oh, well I have no concept of that, so I'm considering asking them to make it a Caesar, but because we do Bloody Marys in, in Canada. It's kind of like how in Canada we'll accept U.S. money, but as I've been telling Alex at least three times today, Americans probably won't accept Canadian money. But why? Canada's so cool. I know, and our money is more colorful, but it's worth less. We're going to order food now. We have placed our order, and between the two of us, we have like the most touristy buffalo foods that we could possibly order. I got an order of the original wings, also an order of the like spiciest wings, boneless, Good. and I got a medium uh, pizza, presumably the, I guess, traditional buffalo cup and char yeah. pepperoni, double pepperoni, and hot banana peppers on top. I, I was less ambitious. I got an order of wings. I got the dry buffalo rub. I'm um, still not sure what that is, but I'm going to try it. And then I also got the beef on wax sandwich, which again, according to Google, buffalo classic. Alex, what have you ordered? It's called the K2. It's a craft beer at this anchor bar. It looks like a Caesar, but it smells like a punch. It's described as a fishy sour, potentially. Interesting. I don't detect any fishiness. It, it actually does slightly remind me of a Caesar in that the aftertaste is supremely vaguely reminiscent of something savory, but there is there is no salt on the palate. There is no savoriness in the experience, but there's this like lack of sweetness, lack of like in the aftertaste, there's just like a lack of anything else that it kind of makes you remember what like savory is. If that makes any modicum of sense. Keep keep drinking, Alex. The food has arrived. Repeat, the food ah the microphone went in the food. The food has arrived. Iconic. I grew up with these bowls. This is a buffalo spice, original buffalo wing. It's uh, it's buttery, it's spicy. It's everything the body needs. I am now going to try the classic beef on weck sandwich, which is shaved beef on a Kimmelweck roll. I can't tell you what that means. Well, I can. It's a roll that has, like, salt and caraway, I think, on it. Let's try it. Oh, like, look, look at that. Look at that. Okay. That is quite a mix of flavors, which are mostly obscured by salt. <laughs> if you like beef, and if you like weck, you will like this. All right, now is the time. I'm trying my buffalo dry rub wing. Here it is. It's a buffalo wing with like a, a dry rub on it. That was a good mix of flavors. There's a good spice. I wasn't expecting this to have as much kick to it as it does. Like if you like buffalo, if you like wings, if you like dry and if you like rubbing, you will like this. The time has arrived. Alex is going to try the most extremely hottest heat something something. What's it called? The extreme heat? It's extreme heat? He's going to try the extreme heat. We're going to watch. I think it's pretty, it's pretty easy stuff. I think you'll have a good time. Why don't I take, is it going to kick me? Oh wait. Oh no. Oh, this is. It's pretty manageable. No, this is quite literally a slow. This is quite literally a slow burn. No, it's easy. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's easy like Sunday morning. Yeah, exactly. Sunday morning, rain is falling. 
My mouth hurts, though. It's okay. My mouth, my, but my mouth hurts. My, my mouth hurts. And now, two hours later, the gone pizza is gone, the sandwich eaten, the wings demolished, and here lies Alex eating the final slice of pizza, which, for the record, he ate that whole thing himself. We are just exiting. We're going. To, we're going to your car. We're just exiting the anchor bar. We are both full and like satisfied. Crying. Alex ate a lot. It was impressive. At my belly. And now you're gonna sit for at least an hour a bit in a car. You're presumptuous. You're being presumptuous, but okay. <laughs> Only just when you made a friend and all And you know she's big but you don't feel small So I'm bigger than her comes along the hall To swallow you for lunch Bump, 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 bump Oh, I've been telling you I've been saving all along I've been telling you she's known in the world It's done, it's done, it's done 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 the roof of the house in a world you never thought you'd explore. Um, um, and you think of all of the things you've seen. And you wish that you could live in between. And you're back again, only different than before. Um, after the sky. Uh, there, there are giants, giants in the sky. There are big, tall, terrible, awesome, scary, wonderful giants in the sky. Um, we just got back from Into the Woods. It was oh, so many things to say. It was a wonderful example of minimalism. Um, solid cast, beautifully directed. So lovely to hear a full orchestra. Yeah, Alex, what are your thoughts on the production? Um, I mean, again, you know, it, it wasn't quite the uh, definition of minimalism that I intuitively- That you have, yes. Search for or, you know, look for. Of course. Um, I wish but, we recorded the, the argument. Yeah. Ultimately, I had a good time. Uh, I was engaged. You know, I was brought to the verge of tears. So, like, what brought you to tears? Nothing brought me to tears, but oh. on the verge of tears. Verge, okay, verge. Um, so, yeah, like, I mean, no one is alone. Um, See, that, that one, one always gets to me. No, that one didn't affect me as much, I think, because some of the acting choices and the scene leading into No One Is Alone didn't do it for me, so it kind of reduced the impact of that song. But also, since that came right after No More, like, I had no tears left to cry. Yeah, no more. I didn't yeah. care about no more. At How all. could you not? Are you dead right. inside? The way it ends, I find way too like in your face, on the nose, like oh. like father, like son, like father, like son. Yeah, like that's way too. No, 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 no wait, let's like, sing. So nose. sing what I just sang. Like father, like son. So that's your part. Ready? Yeah. Like father, like son. See how nice that was? That's yeah, a lovely harmony. I know, we did very well. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we let's do it again. Yeah. Like father, like son. So good. Yeah, I mean, in the middle there, I, I went ahead of you because you were yeah, quite safe. One more yeah. time. Like father, like son. Close it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, probably go. Um, how do you, how do you end this? But you're pressing the camera as opposed to the stop. That's what back. you do. That's me. You can't end it like me. How do you 